Hope, hope everyone is good. Yes, sir. Okay. Hope I'm audible and visible enough to everyone. Yes, sir. Okay, so last class we talk about first only firewall. Firewall, I think last to last class we talk about email gateway. Email gateway. Email gateway. gateway. Brute email force gateway. attack. And web application, application firewall as well as uh, email something right. Email spoofing something I explain you right. Email. Right. I think vulnerability management also. What is vulnerability management? What yeah. is responsibility of uh, vulnerability management team? Right. Yeah. That all things we discussed in the last class. <clears throat> as well as uh, email gateway. Right. We understand that maybe firewall gets failed. Right. Maybe attacker may send some uh, malicious email with having attachment or with your having link. It may get delivered. Yes or no? Because firewall. Uh, we'll check just the, uh, you know, uh, entry on the ACL as well as if it is blacklisted, it will block it, right? There might be a scenario when, uh, you know, the attacker might have used new IP address and firewall will allow any connection at port number 25, right? That means on port number 25, any connection is coming in. If IP address is not suspicious, it will deliver the email, isn't it? In that case, uh, you know, still your system will get compromised. So we'll talk about email gateway. How? Uh, we can protect our network using email based attack, right? So, email spoofing, phishing email, malware email, how we can protect. Apart from that, we also understand that uh, not only incoming in email, but outbound emails also, right? That means it will filter out the email traffic inbound as well as outbound, right? That means users, your internal user might send some critical classified information. Crit uh, uh, you know, confidential information outside, right? That is also we can create different policies on the email gateway to, you know, uh, <clears throat> to filter out, right? To filter out that user should not be sending some critical confidential information outside. Understand? Now, uh, let us let me draw the diagram again. Behind router, you have firewall. As of now, from security devices perspective, we talk about three devices, right? Firewall, WAF, and email gateway, right? Now, there is a possibility <coughs> that attacker, attacker, you know, uh, now in case any phishing email, phishing email coming in, it will not be delivered. If there's an email gateway, right? Yes or no? If it is email having attachment or any URL or coming from facing email ID or already blacklisted email ID, right? So it will not get delivered. You have email gateway, right? It might detect. Now there might be possible that users, your users may access a website which have uh, you know from where some malicious in, some malicious software has been downloaded. Yes or no? 
your internal users. So see something coming with the email directly from outside, you may detect using firewall, using email gateway, right? But there are chances when your internal user may access a website from where the some some, some malicious software will get downloaded, malware get downloaded, and system will get compromised. Now this time is not through emails. This time through web. May be possible that sometimes phishing link. May possible you get an email. You get an email because email gateway did not identify that particular email is black uh, suspicious. Email get delivered, and that email you have a link. Once you click on the link, it asks to fill up some confidential information and it has been submitted by the user. Or sometime we search in the Google also. Some, some website we search in the Google, we see some phishing websites, some similar websites which are phishing. The user might end up in, you know, filling some confidential information or may end up downloading some malware, some malicious site. You must have seen that sometime you are accessing some legitimate site to, to download some software, but once you click on the link, it gets redirected to some other link. From there, some um, video player, some Opera Mini, UC browser, something else is going to get downloaded, right? Those some some malicious things, uh, malicious website you get re redirected, right? That that kind of attack we call a cross-site scripting attack. That we call as cross-site scripting. Maybe any website is infected with cross-site scripting attack. If your website is vulnerable, attacker may inject some JavaScript, some malicious script on the website, which you see the pop-up. Sometimes you see the pop-up, right? Green color kind of thing, pop up, download, download, download. This is not something which has been published by the website owner. This is something that website was vulnerable and it is done by, and it is a kind of script which is injected by the attacker. And when you click on that link, something will get downloaded or uh, maybe your uh, uh, you know, connection will, re will redirect to some other website. From there, something will get downloaded. Get I mean? That is actually not published by the website owner. That is something which has been injected by the attacker. That kind of attack we call, we call as cross-site scripting attack. In the cross-site scripting attack, website, there is no harm for the website. The only thing is users may get redirected and along with that user cookies, cache cookies, where cookies is the uh, something where your credentials are being stored. Cookies, you understand, right? Cookies, you remember, you ask your browser to remember your credentials. Get what I mean? Remember your sessions, to remember your session. For example, uh, whenever I open my browser, I type Gmail and automatically I, I, I get access to Gmail. I need not to log in again and again because I'm already logged in. Yes or no? My session ID, session information is stored on the cookies. Understand? In the browser, there is something called as cookies. So I need not to log in again and again because my credential, my session information is stored on the cookies. So no need to log in. Once you access Facebook.com, Facebook understand the connection is coming from the same user and it will log in with your account. No need to log in. Get what I mean? Your information is being stored on the cookies. So what happens is if you enter such website, some uh, infected website, what will happen is maybe uh, you may end up downloading some uh, malicious software or attacker may hijack your session. That means attacker will compromise your cookies information, cookies. Whenever you access some website, it asks you, uh, this website will store the cookies. Are you yes? Click on yes or no. Cookies means your session information. Next time onward, once you log in, your session information will be stored on the browser. Understand? So what happens is attacker in such kind of attack, attacker compromise your cookies. That means attacker will steal the cookies information. And same cookies, see, you know what happens? For example, I logged in through my browser, right? Google Chrome from this system. Now this system, I can log in because I logged in before only. So my credential, my session information has been stored on the cookies. For example, just a trick I'm telling you, just a trick I'm telling you. Now you forgot password. One thing is you can go on the uh, saved password option, but some sometimes it might not be saved there also, but it has been saved on cookies. Get a mind? You forgot the password now, but you have to log in. 
you want to use some other system, you want to log in to some other system, what you can do is you can export the cookies from your system and you can place to another system. Without login, you'll be able to log in using other system as well. Understand? Because the cookies information you have exported and put on the other system. Is this something we call as cookies where your session information is being stored? Understand? So there might be challenge. Sometimes you see the pop up, right? That is actually a cross site scripting. Cross site is what you know what happens in the various websites. You see some login pages, some, some, uh, you know, inquiries. For example, in the same export website, you see the inquiry information, right? In some of the websites, you see the comment section, comment section where people can comment and comment will be uh, populated and published in the website. Yes or no? Means whatever you comment, it will publish in the website. Some of the websites are not doing the sanity check. See, uh, whenever I enter, I should enter text information only on those form. If anybody entered some code, some script, the website should not allow. Means website should do the sanity checks, validation of the user input. Then only it should publish. Now I'm explaining what is cross-site scripting attack. What is cross-site scripting attack? In the cross-site scripting attack, what happens is there are various website which allow users to input to comment. Yes or no? Once you enter the comment, it will publish on the website. Yes or no? Whatever you comment. So in the comment section, the the input should be a text input only. It should not be a, a script. It should not be a code. Yes or no? If anybody enter the code, it should not publish. That means your website should do the validation sanity checks that this user is actually, is actually not entering text. He's entering a script, so should not publish it. But website which is vulnerable, vulnerable means having weaknesses. They are not doing the validation. Yes or no? They are not doing the validation of user inputs. And whatever user entered either text, they will publish a comment and some script also they will publish. Get a mind? If any website is not doing this sanity check, that means validation of user input, that means that website is vulnerable for cross-site scripting attack. Instead of entering the text value, user can enter JavaScript. Yes or no? Link of some other website JavaScript, which will be published on the website. Because website is not checking what information has been entered and should not publish its script. That means that Polygo website is vulnerable for cross-site scream attack, right? Website Now, website owner has not published it. Somebody else using the comment section has injected some JavaScript. Now, it has been published on the website. Download video downloader, UC browser. Whatever you are downloading means most of the time, some, some famous software that you are downloading, it will give the pop-up download this. But once you click on that, something else has been downloaded. Yes or no? And realize that it is not a software that you are looking for. Sometimes you'll get redirected to some other website and, and that, uh, that uh, attack has the capability to hijack your cookies also. That is very dangerous. Cross-site is creating one of the top, one of the top uh, attack for the web application. This attack happened on the web application only, website only. Yes or no? So as a Preventive, preventive measure, our website should be enabled for validation. Means before publishing the user input, the website should validate, should do the sanity checks. Then only should publish. Understand? That kind of attack we call as cross-site scripting, cross scripting attack. Accesses. Cross-site scripting attack. Cross-site scripting attack is being initiated for the web is being initiated for the web application. It's one of the web application attack where user inject the JavaScript on any of the website, which has option to enter the user input, some comment options, right? So there user can, uh, attacker can misuse and inject JavaScript. Yes or no? And resulting user may redirect to some other website. Attacker may populate some phishing link or some malicious software link to download 
एज वेल एज अटैकर कैन हाईजेक योर कुकीज इंफॉर्मेशन अंडरस्टैंड एंड प्रिवेंटिव एक्शन इन आर वेबसाइट वी शुड इनेबल द सैनिटी चेक वैलिडेशन ऑफ यूजर इनपुट अंडरस्टैंड क्लियर सो दैट इज वट आई एम सेंग दैट सम वेबसाइट मे बी समेबसाइट लेजमेट सम लेजमेट वेबसाइट यू आर एक्सेसिंग some phishing website link is there you get redirected and something has been downloaded even user have access the right website only but may website was vulnerable and resulting you have been redirected some phishing link so we should safeguard right our network our users that if they redirected those phishing link the link should be blocked should not be accessible yes or no as well as if they open any malicious link phishing link the link should be blocked so that our user will information and user uh, will be safe otherwise user may enter some critical confidential information or they may download some malicious softwares from those uh, malware or phishing links understand so even though you can see even though we have the firewall we have the email gateway we have the web right still our network is not secure maybe any user can access a malicious website from where something has been downloaded or they can upload some confidential information understand clear okay. this so you can say that still we are not secure so we should have some kind of solution using which we can regulate the internet access so that malicious website should not be accessible should be blocked yes or no any malicious link something sometime you download it to something you have been redirected to some some time you have been redirected to some malicious link and whenever you redirected the link should be blocked yes or no should not be accessible because it's a malicious user may end up entering some critical information or downloading some malicious software malwares isn't it so we need some kind of solution so that it can filter out what our site our user can access and those malicious website facing website should not be accessible to any of the users yes or no so what solution we should use here what solution we should use proxy we should use proxy proxy solution right we have to use proxy proxy content filtering url filtering the name is proxy we also call a content filtering device so here we will use proxy we call as this device we call as proxy or content filtering content filtering device or url filtering url it filter the url right url filtering device right content filtering why because it depend the website content if website hosted some malicious content right it filter out and block that's the reason we also call as content filtering device or url filtering device the solution name is proxy or content filtering or url filtering the main name is proxy the main name is proxy okay the so proxy can be hardware or software it can you can come with the hardware or software also re kahan de saturday ko headache ho jata hai aaj ka you can use uh what software or hardware what are the leading leading vendor for uh, proxy solution anyone uh, hmm everyone knows what are the leading vendors developer for proxy leading product i think asi is, is telling something but it is not audible asis you are telling something cloud uh, sir, we are using uh, the a proxy is a force point and jdescaler in our company 
ಸರ್ವರ್ I have created a video on YouTube, right? You do watch it. Okay, because we'll be using the word server, server, server. Because any device in the corporate, any uh, application is actually hosted in the server, not your desktop laptop. Because your application should run 24 by 7 and server runs 24 by 7. Workstation is for normal use, for our home use, for normal work use, right? But any, uh, uh, any enterprise application, any application enterprise that you use and you want people to be access right we deploy on the server right you will clearly understand what is work station in server if you watch that video okay do watch it without fail if you do not know okay so uh, some of the leading proxy vendor are such as blue code proxy blue code blue code proxy sg proxy sg now blue coat you know what happens is blue coat was taken over by semantech initially it was blue coat blue so is the vendor and product name is proxy sg blue, blue coat was taken over by the semantech another company semantech created the antivirus famous for antivirus semantech has taken over blue coat after that semantech has been taken over by the anybody knows semantech has taken Semantech, uh, TEC only, TEC, Semantech. Now Semantech has taken over by the Broadcom, Broadcom. Now it has become Broadcom Proxy SG. If you download now in the internet, if you go for the Institute of Blue Code, it has become Broadcom Proxy SG. The name is Proxy SG only, but now it has become Broadcom. But people still knows about Blue good proxy because this name was very famous in the cyber security market uh, this uh, blue code proxy is a name which is very famous is one of the famous uh, proxy solution blue code proxy but now it has been taken on broadcom so it has been a broadcom proxy sg right but the event which will come in our lab environment the name will be blue code proxy only right because the event that we have that time we had device blue code proxy the event is coming like blue code proxy okay but it <clears throat> so blue code proxy is one of the uh, leading vendor apart from that you have uh, websense is also famous website famous solution websense you have uh, cisco uh, cisco uh, web security appliance cisco w WSA, WSA, Cisco WSA means Cisco Web Security Appliance. Web Security means website security, right? Again, same proxy only. Cisco Web Security Appliance. Dead Scaler also has. Dead Scaler. Dead Scaler, Barracuda. There are some of the other vendors. There are so many other vendors, but these are some of the famous uh, vendors which provide the proxy solution. So now we'll understand. Yeah. Yes, yes. Cisco has Cisco has Cisco umbrella as well. Does it function the same? Uh, what? Cisco umbrella? Cisco? Cisco has Cisco umbrella as well. Product. That is different product. Are you upset? It's a DNS filtering here. Change kaise ho raha hai ek minute. Hold karna ek minute. Ha, to ho gaya hai. Success ho raha hai. Uh Are you upset? क्या समस्या है यार प्रॉब्लम क्या हो रही है इसमें अच्छा चलो मेरा नेटवर्क गया अरे मेरा नेटवर्क जा रहा है अनस्टेबल हो रहा है सिस्टम कनेक्शन हेलो आई एम ऑडिबल राइट 
यस सर यू आर नॉट डू यस सर यस सर हां थोड़ा इशू है सम इशू इन द इंटरनेट ओके uh ah so what i'm saying uh i was saying that uh, these are some of the vendors right uh, which are providing which are leading and famous per proxy solution now let's understand how proxy works and how uh, it prevents our user to access the malicious sites right so uh, you know uh, as you understand email gateway enters have the traffic which coming and going on port number page port number port number 25 25 email gateway is to filter out the emails and emails receive and send port number 25 number 25 which is which port which port smtp right smtp, SMTP. protocol similarly uh, mostly uh, to access the website Website works on which port number? Uh, four four three, four, four, three, three and eighty. Four three and eighty. Right. Port number four four three and eighty. If website is HTTPS, it will work on port number four four three. So it is HTTP. It works on port number eighty. Right. So our proxy is for web security, website security. Right. Our proxy, unlike web, you understand? Web we discuss web application firewall. You know what happens? It is just opposite. It is just opposite because using web application firewall, we used to secure our internal application from outside malicious users, attackers, and here we are safeguarding our users from outside applications. Isn't it? Outside means hosted application, some website, malicious website. We are saving our user from malicious website while. In in web, we are saving our website from malicious user. Yes or no? So here in the proxy, we are saving our user from malicious website. That is the reason your web. This is a proxy, right? This is a proxy solution which secure our user from malicious malicious site. Web save our site from the malicious users. That is the reason web is also called as reverse proxy. reverse proxy web is also called as reverse proxy somebody what is reverse proxy reverse proxy is nothing but the web which secure our application from the malicious users understand so let's understand so proxy mostly has been designed for the traffic which is on port number 80 and 443 443 the organization will deploy the proxy to filter out the traffic on port number 80 and 443 mm, some other uses also that will understand other traffic also can be allowed by the proxy but i will tell you what is the usage why other traffic also uh, some uh, you know uh, network administrator some some companies may allow through proxy but ideally proxy has been designed for web applications means for for web filtering website filtering right that means port number 80 and 443 whatever traffic is going should be intercepted by the proxy let's say this is a proxy device okay this is the proxy device this proxy you have bought from blue coat this proxy solution you have bought from blue coat so once you buy it from blue coat this proxy should be connect should have the internet access and allow the blue coat cloud blue coat having research and development team rna team research team which does the research what kind of research they do they research over the internet any website comes new as well as old website is already on the internet they have already completed the research and review whenever any new website comes in the uh, comes in the internet means it's a new website they will review those website review means they will they will open the website and they will review the content of the website and they will identify this particular website belongs to what category for example when some expert publish first time this proxy vendor will review the website and they reviewed and they come to know it is kind of technical training of site education related of site yes or no means we have training schedule we have different different training yes or no they reviewed and they categorize some sort of website as a educational category yes or no you simply learn adureka right or any college school website all are falls under all falls under the education category 
when they review facebook facebook instagram linkedin twitter they categorize as a social media yes or no gmail hotmail outlook right uh, yahoo categorize under the email category yes or no your icici bank hdfc bank categorize under banking site finance and banking site yes or no so all this category for google drive google drive box.com right uh, as well as uh, the, the, the different sites such kind are categorized under file sharing where we can share the files right under file sharing website uh, yahoo google.com category bing category under the category under the search engine google bing yahoo are the search engine right they have been categorized under the search engine so whatever website available on the internet your proxy vendor will do the review for previous which is already in the internet they must have completed the review already and as soon as new website comes they take their own time but they review the website and categorize particular website belongs to what category along with this site any website which is fishing site fishing site they will categorize as a fishing category hosted malware malware category yes or no that means fishing category malware category right spoofed website or those kind of uh, you know category they will create any website falls under those category they will also update fishing malicious malware yes or no understand this category also will be categorized you know what happens so proxy this proxy is connected to the cloud the search team this category information will be updated as a part of acl acl means access control list any device see acl is different different information is different different for all different uh, different uh, tools right in, in email gateway different acl contained in firewall different proxy so acl means access control list means any uh, you know how your tool device control the access using what information right that we call as acl yes or no here acl in the proxy is website category information based on the website based on the category so here in the website acl uh, proxy acl you have different categories mail category business category search engine file sharing malicious malware right all this category by default any user access any website it go through the proxy it has been configured see if there is no proxy it will go through the firewall firewall can only check the ip address of the website they will not check with url they are accessing but proxy filter based on the url get away so what happens if you don't have proxy it will go through the firewall directly if you have the proxy it will go through the proxy so what happens if we deploy proxy if you have deployed proxy in our environment we have to configure all users machine the ip address of the proxy and port number to tell browser whenever user access any website send it through proxy if you go on the browser uh, browser internet option then internet option then uh, lan setting where you can see the proxy setting has been configured either proxy server ip address or domain name and port number to tell browser that you have to access internet through proxy and generally those setting has been disabled means user cannot change that that proxy that proxy uh, host name and that has been pushed by the your network administrator remotely and as you group policies using group policies every system will go through by this proxy only understand if somehow you remove also your system will not get the path to access the internet and internet will not be accessible because the path connectivity has been designed in such a way so that it should go through a proxy only understand so you know what happens this proxy will have category information by default any user access any website which belongs to malicious category malware phishing category adult category will not be allowed to anyone you got you will get the block page even you want all other access but by default these malicious fitting adult category website will not be allowed to anyone you'll get the block page saying that your pro, your uh, your uh, you know organization has chosen to block this website for you because this falls under this category 
if you think that this is because of an error and you should have access to this website kindly call or reach out to security operation center or maybe contact number whatever you have given that block page information you can customize as well as the contact number or email id that you want to uh, publish it here you can customize which email id you want to configure so that because sometimes some important website might be blocked and they may, to, may need to unblock it right so block page will be like this only get right? this is something with the malicious side phishing site right that means if we have the proxy proxy will do the review and they will categorize the website so anybody access some malicious site or redirect it to the malicious site the site will get blocked by the proxy because proxy will understand that this website is falls under malicious category and should be blocked right this is one thing using the proxy that we can safeguard user from malicious phishing site because they, those websites will be blocked see these are the devices work based on the signature right so if any website proxy has not reviewed yet means not categorized yet by default uncategorized website will be allowed for everyone so proxy vendors are very aggressive in doing the research and reviewing the website but it still sometime may happen the website has not been reviewed website has not been categorized and resulting it has been accessed by the user and user has downloaded some malware that's the reason even though you deploy all the security tools you cannot say that you are 100% secure because your security devices are not a security guard not a human being these are devices whatever signature information has been given are kya ho gaya disconnect ho gaya kya given to those devices based on that only they will be able to uh, allow or disallow understand what i'm saying so uh, so this way we can safeguard our uh, net uh, our users right to, to access any phishing website apart from that it's all, not only phishing or malicious site for which uh, you know proxy vendor does the research that is a malicious website as i mentioned before the proxy vendor you know <clears throat> will review the proxy vendor will review any site which comes uh, you know uh, live which comes uh, uh, in the internet they will review and they will categorize these are uh, you know email category file sharing category uh, you know marketing finance email uh, job portals right they will categorize each such website so one of the use for the proxies we can safeguard our users our network from phishing and malware sites second important use is we can regulate the internal access using proxy means we can define which set of a user or which user should access which all website what all website particular user or particular set of user can access we can define that means we can regulate the internal access for example this is the, he is an analyst second level analyst should have technical technology related website access search engine technology related website should not have access to gmail otherwise he can upload any information should not have access to file sharing website should not have access to social media should not have access to job portal yes or no so we can define the role based access and we can define okay these are technical analyst so we can create different groups of users okay these guys are technical analyst and these guys should have this side of access this category side of access yes or no this is business analyst should not have technical website access should have search engine and business related website he is a manager should have this category of website access he is a hr so, so need social media access also job portal access also but not required gmail access can upload any information yes or no gmail hotmail google drive these are some of the websites should not be allowed for most of the users because you have a email gateway so that people should not send any critical information outside but if people have the gmail access google drive access they can upload any critical information and that cannot be tracked by the email gateway or any other devices yes or no so there is a risk involved there is a risk involved so we can avoid we can you know uh, prohibit access to these website to certain users right so you can categorize different category of the uh, category uh, we can create based on the type of users based on the, their role right and we can define these sort of user should access what category of website so what happens is any user access any website for example facebook.com this user has access facebook.com 
your request will go to the proxy and proxy will check this particular user has access facebook.com so what category it falls in so it falls he falls under the uh, technical so facebook access is not a part of technical technology access means he is it is not allowed for him then he will go to the block page block page saying that your organization has chosen to block this page for you you can contact and elevate the access by contacting the qwp process center so certain time there might be possible that you want some access you want access to some of the website one website but has been blocked but it is a business related website so you can uh, call or reach out to that number proxy administrator or soc administrator soc team saying that this website is this category i am accessing because of business use but i am not able to access yes or no then we can review being a may possible sometime you the part of soc team and soc team has access to proxy mostly in the product based company where uh, all the tools are being handled by the same team right you might get access you might be doing the this job also so in that case we may ask what is the business justification why you want to access this website he will tell that oh, this is this is client website or this is a business website we will also review whether is it really a business website because sometime proxy vendor we may have miscategorized sometime uh, website actually contained under uh, business but from proxy it's categorized under the uh, social media content actually business but they have categorized under social media and that user has business access not social media has resulting he is not able to access but the actual content of the website is business because uh, the proxy vendor who review those uh, website right those are people like us only like you guys right sometime people make the mistake some new people has joined and they have not categorized properly they have not reviewed it properly and miscategorized yes or no so these proxy vendor also uh, you know give some access a portal access where any user like proxy administrator we can also submit from review okay that uh, this particular website is actually falls under business category but it has been miscategorized under the social media so kindly re kindly uh, uh, review and recategorize it once they will get it categorized you falls under business and you'll be able to access that website yes or no however if you want to allow manually you always have a static list first preference is yours what you have defined so if you have defined that okay this but statically this website should be allowed it will be allowed based on your input so you can allow to single user also group of user or for all user statically on the static list understand this so using proxy we can also regulate the internet access what set of user should access what sort of website what category of website and should not be able to access what website means we can regulate the internet access as well using the proxy and then every company will have the proxy solution i have email a gateway so that people should not be able to send some critical information outside but if you give the open internet access mean they can access gmail hotmail or google drive instead of sending email they can upload right so any company which which consider their data is critical should not go outside like that they should have all the security controls yes or no understand so that people will not be able to access such website to upload any information so proxy is one of that security control using which you can control what website should be accessed by what user and you may not give the access to gmail hotmail or drive access file sharing of site access based on the business see people misuse the internet also right uh, maybe you are in night shift uh, but you have uh, you have less work maybe you are not doing your work properly but you are watching movies on youtube and some uh, some uh, live stream website misusing the internet giving multiple site access means uh, you know even you do not require giving such access means you are not doing your work and misusing the internet one thing is you are not doing your work and second thing is you are eating the bandwidth such application eating the bandwidth people who are actually working they are feel, facing slowness because you guys are you are eating the bandwidth and uh, accessing some some these streaming website video streaming website that is another reason why we need to regulate internet internet understand proxy also records so if you are accessing some website 
and thinking that your manager will not come to know what you're accessing, what you're doing on the internet, right? That is not true. Whatever website is being accessed, how, what you have downloaded, which website you have accessed, at what time you have accessed, everything is being recorded by the proxy. Being a proxy administrator, we can log in on the proxy and pull the report particular user. Yes or no? Proxy records everything. Particular user have access, what website, what he has uploaded, what he has downloaded, how much, how big file he has uploaded, downloaded, right? What time, what website, everything be recorded in the proxy logs. Yes, so manager can reach out to SOC team, proxy team, and ask him, this particular user is not working this last one, one, one week. What he's doing nice when I am not aware of? I want to check his proxy logs. I want to check his internet access report. Please share. So proxy proxy team will share the report and you will come, he will come to know what website you have to access. Whether you are doing some work or accessing, doing some type pass. Yes or no? So everything can be tracked using the proxy. All such requests, all such requests are going to come to the SOC team. Why? Because once we move further, maybe today or tomorrow, we'll talk about SIM solution, SIM, security, information, and event management, where these all logs, your firewall logs, your proxy log, all different, different device logs will come to the SIM. So if you need internet access report, no need to log in the proxy. You will have all the logs on the SIM. So people from different team will reach out to SIM team. No need to log in because as soon as proxy will generate the logs, it will send the logs to SIM only, SIM only. Mind? So you guys have to share those report. You want, though you are not going to work directly in the proxy, but all these devices will send the real time logs, means whatever activity happen, they will send the logs to the SIM your SIM, where you have to check and share with them. Understand? So proxy is the solution. Uh, mostly it's an internet access, inter uh, web filtering device, right? Using which we can prevent our user to download any malicious content, malicious softwares, uh, as well as to restrict our user to access the phishing links. One thing, as well as proxy allows uh, us to regulate the internet access. Means what sort of user, what user, what sort of user access, what website we can control using the proxy. Understand? But why we call this device proxy? Why the name is proxy? Why the name is proxy? You understand? Uh, I'm getting call now. Uh, I mean, since long time, I'm getting some calls always saying that, do you do the proxy interview? Proxy interview. They ask, do you conduct the proxy interview? I tell them that you join the training. You join the training. You will learn yourself and you will just spend two, three months, four months. You'll be able to crack the interview yourself. Why you are looking for the proxy interview? You'll never be confident in your whole life if you go for the proxy interview. So why I am saying this? Yes. What do you mean by proxy interview? Proxy Give, giving it to you on behalf of you. Instead of us. Uh -huh. Means so these days uh, recruiters are easily able to find out even if they are using proxies. You know, I I recently taken the interview, so I know. Huh? What 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 come back? These days. These days, they are easily able to find out if anyone is using proxy. So right. So so my question is now, what is proxy? What do you mean by what is why this guy is what this guy what guy was saying to me or someone to do the proxy interview? If we are uh, doing someone's job on his behalf, interview interview means he's asking, can you crack the interview on behalf of me? That is called a proxy. Means I will not attend the interview. I will not give the you. Do you conduct the interview? Do you give the interview on behalf of me? If behalf no, of Pawan, if behalf of Pawan or someone else, if I give the interview, that is called as proxy interview. Means it is appearing as Pawan is giving the interview, but actually Pawan was not giving the interview. It is given by me. That means if your work is done by someone else, that is called as proxy. Yes or no? This process called as proxy and you call it proxying. Is, is it good? Is it is the proxy interview is good? No, no, no. 
this kind of nah. is going on especially but don't mind it but this is true mostly in south region in andhra and telangana this is very famous there are very many institutions which are running this kind of a scam where people are falling in the trap they are uh, uh, you know uh, uh, they are end up paying 1 lakh 2 lakh rupees for this proxy interview the desperate someone of course someone who is jobless they are looking for a job a good job they will tell that uh, you join and uh, we'll give the training and we'll give the job job guarantee job guarantee how anybody can give the job guarantee because at the end you have to crack the interview see how how i'm teaching you know your job is not dependent on how i'm teaching only it is also dependent how much effort you're putting how you're giving the interview if you're not prepared right you'll not get a job definitely even training is very wonderful training is good your teacher is good trainer is good but still you will not get the job but how people can take the job guarantee anybody i could not take your job guarantee right nobody can take your guarantee because if you are not giving the interview properly not preparing you will not be able to crack the interview then you are seeing some some ad the job guarantee job guarantee this is how they are taking the job guarantee get it right The 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 a lot of people have been stuck out, sir. Right. Uh, a lot lot of of people people have been outside. Right. That is is what they, they, they get clear and and once they are on the production, they don't know the core knowledge and they get caught on their own. Right. So what happens is, that is what reason that the running ads that job guarantee, 100% job guarantee, that is how they are doing a job guarantee. Now you end up paying 1 lakh, 2 lakh, 3 lakh rupees, right? They will not give the proper training. because their focus is to get the money they will get you the job definitely they will get you the job because they will be, they have the tricks they will give the interview they have a few right uh you get in the company now because you have not cracked the interview yourself you will not have a confidence see if you do something yourself you will be full of confidence but if someone else is doing you will never be confident the so whole life i am telling you now you join the company now you are scared what manager will ask me what is the process they are not at all aware because they have not given proper training their focus is to get the money to get you the job so that they can get the money now you join the production the company you are expert all the time what manager you are not able to do your job your manager can easily identify that this person is not at all has not at all worked yes or no you will be always scared i am getting many such cases i used to get i am getting many such cases where people are joining this training because they said that they already got a job recently to uh, uh, last 3 3 month back one case i am telling you one of the case he was from uh, hyderabad hyderabad that guy he got a job in mumbai his his father called me his father called me that we have gone through this process we have paid 250000 to one of the company now my son got the job Uh, in mumbai but he is saying that he will leave the job his son was saying that he will lose the job he is unable to do the job he will leave the job he is crying all the time and saying i will not go to the company he said i have paid my hard earned money to like 50000 now he got a job he is saying that leaving the job means wasting all money i explained him that you would have sent your son to join the training any running institution and got the good knowledge of course if somebody else will do means you'll not be confident or any time then finally i said him that okay you manage somehow you manage somehow he said can you give the support now this kind of people paid money to less three lakhs to track the interview now get on the company they will not be able to do the work now they'll pay again to get the job support now we getting many messages calls in a company do you provide a job support by yellow matlab they are handicapped completely they are completely handicapped first of all someone else will crack the interview for, for them and then somebody else will do the job on behalf of them <laughs> means the company somebody should be there behind for job support batao kya baat hai what is this <laughs> mean they need now they support they pay uh, many thousand of rupees per month to person who is providing job support in many telegram group if you see sub security group can anybody provide the job support i am provide a job i am providing job support if anybody is needed let me know ye kya chal raha hai what is going on but sir uh, how to provide the job support so what happens is they share the screen sometimes they are on the call they share the screen 
टू दाइड पर्सन भैया वट इज दिस ना वट इज भैया कॉल पर रहोगे अगर थोड़ा थोड़ा अब वैसे भी कंपनी में वेनेवर यू ज्वाइन गांधी मैनी टाइम यूल बी नो कॉल आराम आराम से बता रहा कोई सुन नहीं रहा है आई दे वर्किंग फ्रॉम होम और एंजॉय ऑल राइट और दैट इज हाउ देर फेसिंग और दे विल कॉल टू गो टू वॉशरूम एंड कॉल पर्सन भैया हाउ टू डू दिस हाउ टू डू दिस टेल मी आई शेयर माई स्क्रीन डो नॉट टॉक आई शेयर माई स्क्रीन एंड यू टेल मी राइट लाइक दैट राइट सो दैट इज वॉट वी कॉल एस जॉब सपोर्ट नाउ दे आर कंप्लीटली हैंडी कैप्ड दे बिकेम कंप्लीटली हैंडी कैप्ड someone else is in an interview now somebody else is doing the job see will you will you get the confidence aisi job hone se job na hona acha hai how on this kind of job is better than not having job get a mind this kind of hand handicap will never be confidence so that is what we call as proxy ha huh, that guy called me then after that i asked him to manage he was trying if you have any friend who can do the job support for him <clears throat> uh who can till now i said that you send your uh, son to join the training then only he'll be confidence then fortunately i don't know how he managed for his 2 3 month job but finally he joined the training then then he is able to now uh work in his job right better it would have been better he would have joined he would have joined the training first and then he would have cracked the interview himself you know so that is called as proxy means somebody else will do on behalf of you right similarly that is why we call as proxy here in the proxy solution also do the same apart from these two works why we call as proxy because whenever user access the internet for example i access facebook.com my request will not go to directly through facebook to facebook it will go to the proxy proxy will understand okay this user want to access the facebook then proxy will reinitiate a new connection proxy will initiate new connection on behalf of this user and go to the internet get the page and based on session id it will give it to you means your ip is not going to the internet instead proxy ip is going to the internet facebook understand the connection came from this device this is the ip of the proxy connection came from this device any website you access anywhere if you are if you are behind the proxy if you access anything your ip is not going to go to the internet instead proxy ip will go to the internet your your identity will not get exposed many time you send a attacker has used proxy solution you access some block website using proxy yes or no because your website uh, some attacker sometime hide, hide their uh, you know identity by having going behind the proxy Yes or no? Because your IP is not going to get the, in the internet. Instead, proxy IP will go to the internet. Yes or no? And get the data and give it to you. Means proxy is doing the work on behalf of you. Yes or no? That's the reason this solution we call as proxy. And you know this proxy has may have multiple IP address. In the company, you may not assign, but I'm talking the open free proxy. But proxy three has the capability to configure multi IP IP address, so it can use any random IP address every time. Sometimes this IP will go to the internet. Sometimes this IP will go to the internet. Sometimes this IP will, will go to the internet. So any random IP it can use. Now the good thing, good, uh, you know, having the proxy on behind of uh, behind you, I mean before you having advantages, your IP will go to the proxy. It will go to the internet when you access. if man in the middle will attack back to the proxy ip proxy always deny any inbound connection your proxy has been designed for uh, for you to access website outside and get the data back whenever anybody initiate a new connection target this proxy will always deny the connection understand i will tell you in the later part how you can access block website using proxy some people must be using sometime some website which is blocked in india they must be using yaar har saturday ko set up ho jata hai yaar hmm ab is par nagpur jana hai code to nagpur aur se ho gayi bahut badi hmm i i took the tablet so i got late today so relax ki half an hour i take to relax so instead of your yeah, i have some question ha ah, instead of your ip proxy ip 
will go to the internet, right? And proxy never allow any incoming connection, always drops, right? Yes. So the question is like, uh, say 100 devices are connected to one proxy. Mm -hmm. So does that mean that uh, only one IP address, that is the proxy IP address will go to the server right. for all these 100 devices? Right. right. Or is it like the proxy device will assign separate uh, 100 IP addresses? No, 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 no. Proxy, oh. we have talked about netting also, right? Multiple yeah. IP will go the same, same IP address, right? So it identifies based on session ID, Unix session ID. On the header, you'll have Unix right. session ID, right? Proxy will understand all the connections are coming from same host. Uh, your Facebook will understand, right? But it's coming from different sources, but with different session IDs. Understand? Okay, for example, you access you access Facebook from Google Chrome, one browser, you access Facebook from Mozilla also. Same source IP, but different session ID. Get a mind? If you access Facebook from Mozilla, and again, new tab using Mozilla, same session ID. You that's the reason you need not sir, to log in. That's the reason you need not Sir, your video is stuck, sir. Sir, your video is getting stuck. Mm. Often now, it is getting stuck, sir. Now? Yeah. Yes, I mean, now it's better, but it's often, internet. often it's getting uh, stuck. You let me know because I think internet is, internet speed is not stable. Internet connection is not stable today, it seems. Now it is audible and visible? Yes. Yeah, it's perfect, yes, but uh, it's, uh, it has happened three times today. Sure, sure. Let me know because uh, it seems my internet is not stable. I'm getting the message that internet speed is not stable so in case happening uh, means, uh, for a long time you let me know okay we'll do something but but uh, it's not a stable that is the reason okay got it clear you let me in case you face any challenges in between you at least let me know if it goes for a long time call me in my phone it may happen that i may not be aware that my voice is gone my video is gone maybe i got disconnected and i'm, I'm speaking continuously you give me a call in my phone in that case Okay, because I'm not, uh, I'm in front of you. I'm not checking my system whether internet is connected or not. Okay, clear, right? Yes. So that solution we call as proxy. So understand how proxy secure, right? Your users to access some malicious, uh, uh, from malicious sites, malicious softwares, right? As well as we can regulate our internet access using proxy. And why we call this as a proxy? Because it initiated connection on behalf of you, right? That is what we call as proxy. Now, people access. Is there anybody has access any website? Lock website is in proxy. You see, there are two things. Either you can use VPN or you can use proxy. That is, there is sometimes people think that proxy and VPN both are same only. They think that are the proxy and VPN both are same? Why they are thinking that? Because in the free proxy, which is available on the internet, you can use to access some log website. VPN also you can use to access a block website, but the concept is for both of the devices entirely different. But using any of that uh, application, either proxy or VPN, you can access block website. I'll explain you how, right? Before uh, I mean, uh, we'll discuss some more uh, one more uh, uh, you know device. Then we'll talk about what is VPN and how we can use VPN to access. Uh, free uh, block website which blocked for the country as well as how we can use proxy solution also. Okay. Uh, clear about the proxy. Now you understand. Uh, for example, you received an email. May possible that your email data uh, does not have signature and the email has been delivered. Email has the attachment. Once you open the attachment, uh, maybe it is malware, system will get infected. Yes or no? Because you never know. These security devices are not a human. Possible that email get does not have signature. Or be possible that you have access to a website that is actually a phishing website having malware content. But your website has your proxy vendor has not categorized the website as of now, has not reviewed it, or maybe miscategorized. The website is actually malware website, but proxy vendor has categorized as something else, maybe business or Banking something else, but it was actually malware website and some malware has been downloaded. In that case, there are chances 
malware have been delivered me reads to your host reads to the end point host and the system has been compromised yes or no in cyber security we always believe on multi layer of security multi level of security multi layer of security means multi devices to secure multiple devices if one device fails we should have another devices which can take this up for email we have email gateway for website we have proxy but it's still either email gateway may fail or proxy may fail or firewall may fail to block it resulting the email will get delivered or user will be able to access the site and resulting he may download any of the malware <clears throat> right in this case we need to introduce one more layer of security control that we call as endpoint security solution which is antivirus endpoint security because that is the endpoint these are the endpoint right to secure this endpoint we have endpoint security solution which we call as anti virus understand antivirus so how the antivirus works and how it can secure your endpoint your system yes so let's understand Again, it was stuck, hmm? sir. Again, it was stuck, sir. Okay. Now it is. Yes. Now, it... now, now it is fine. The problem over here, Raj. Very hard network problem. हो गया. बंद हो गया network. चला गया. ये क्यों disconnect हो रहा है बार-बार यार? समझ में नहीं आ रहा मेरे को. बार बार ये वाईफाई डिस्कनेक्ट हो रहा है आजकल आई एम चेकिंग आई एम चेकिंग वाईफाई तो वंस वी टेक द ब्रेक राइट आई विल रीस्टार्ट द वाईफाई राउटर जस्ट वेट फॉर सम टाइम टू बी विद मी वंस वी टेक द ब्रेक बिकॉज वाईफाई राउटर इफ आई रीस्टार्ट राइट नाउ इट मे टेक फाइव टेन मिनट्स टू कम सो इन टेन मिनट्स विल टेक द ब्रेक टेन फिफ्टीन मिनट्स देन आई विल रीस्टार्ट दी वाई राउटर Okay. Am I audible right now? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. So, yes, sir. Yeah. The break, during the break, I will restart the Wi-Fi router. So I believe that the issue should be fixed after restarting. There's a router problem actually. Uh, where signals are, uh, I mean, it getting uh, off automatically. Same signals are completing completely. So, ha. Uh, huh. So I was telling you that. Uh, Uh, antivirus, right? Antivirus means endpoint security. So these laptop, desktop, servers are we call as endpoints. So what happens is you have laptop, desktop, servers, right? These we call as endpoints. So now to secure once your malware reaches to endpoint, these are network security devices. Means secure the network. Anything coming and going on this network before endpoint, now is an endpoint. means if your network security device get fail to detect malware reach to the will reach to the end point now we have to have some security tools so that they can finally once malware reach to the end point they can secure they can risk detect and secure the end point the end point security device we call as antivirus there are multiple vendors for antivirus what are those you must have heard about right sentinel one ha ha avast sentinel one right uh, you are aware right because even if you know about cyber security you must have installed in your system right laptop laptop so sabka seven tech seven tech seven tech sentinel one sentinel one is most favorable for for uh, you know for edia solution uh, uh, but for most antivirus uh, trend micro sir mag of time micro and loudest tiger सारे है सोफोस सोफोस ई से मल्टीपल No, these are some of the famous like some of the micro McAfee, E set. These are some of the famous uh, for endpoint, uh, you know, solution that means for uh, from antivirus perspective. 
you must have installed ever right in your system sometimes you get virus has been found malware has been found deleted clean like that alert you get right notification quarantine antivirus detected virus sometimes you are saying that you see your virus definition is out of out of date your antivirus definition is out of date update it sometimes you open it you see rat because antivirus definition is not updated yes or no what is this so antivirus is the agent antivirus is the, are the agent right antivirus is the agents which has to be installed on each and every endpoints right got a point some of the people are not muted kartik m mute your mic so what i'm saying is these are antivirus agent antivirus agent which has to be installed on all the endpoint systems of the station laptop or uh, you know servers so be installed now how antivirus is going to help you to detect any malware means sir you are on the break ha huh? what your video is again stuck sir chalo theek hai take break now okay we'll take break now and then 20 minutes uh, so uska number le note kar lena usko aap apne phone number se bata dena number note kar lo uska us call kar bol do aapke number of phone ka kuch mile na to ha so uh, proxy and email gateway email gateway email gateway right email gateway so you yes. log in either for example if you are it is integrated with your sim no need to log in on those devices similarly you can write the query for email gateway log and proxy log if it is not login that you might have to log in the proxy and check the logs enter the username for particular user and get the proxy log and check it out which website he has accessed right and enter the uh, uh, email gateway query and get the email gateway log to check it out which all email has he has received what is the subject line what is the attachment name all these being recorded then you identify before that you have the option better option is check with the user before reviewing because logs will be huge more logs will be maybe if user receive 100 200 emails in last 2 uh, 3 days it depends how many users some business user received 100000 of email in 2 3 days yes or no and access so many website so instead of reviewing and analyzing these data yourself better option is to check with the user itself but yeah are mukesh uh, did you access any website recently or any email you have received which you, you are thinking that it's not legitimate or you are not entitled to receive may have some attachment you may have to open it try to recall please or have you access any website which you think that some kind of malicious or something has been downloaded from there right try to recall him right try ask him to check and recall if he is able to identify oh yes yes i just study i got an email actually this particular time. let me check my system like that is able to recall it's, it's a good idea and we can we can uh, track it fast right if user is not able to identify then in that case uh, we have to review uh, the logs only and identify right definitely e reviewing email uh, logs are not very i have shown you i think one email right last class go ready something right it's easy to identify right yes sir normal user may not be able to identify but we can easily identify you can security based on source user uh, email and based on the subject lane name right attachment is having right so we can easily identify so it's not difficult for us and website also we can easily identify yes or no many of the website will be well known website only that the user is accessing generally some unusual that we have not seen we can check the reputation and check the website which was the bad report or something like that you can access yourself and try in the sandbox environment isolated environment right so that is how we identify then we check uh, uh it is a malicious website Uh, then uh, we identify uh, what we identify which then we have to pull out the for example you identify particular email okay in this email the malware has been downloaded right the particular email then we should check that's the only user who has received that email may possible that email has been sent to multiple users yes or no and before maybe they, they might have open those users also or might have not open so at least we can ask them to delete it because the responsibility of sock team is to if system is compromised network is compromised they have to ensure that impact of the compromise should be minimal that means cost of remediation should be minimal 
if impact is minimal, of course, the cost of remediation would be minimal. Instead of having 100 system compromise, a one, two system compromise, if you detect it, it's good always. That's the work of the SOC team. If we can identify whichever user have received an email, we can take the action, we can isolate the system. They have, they, have, they have already opened it. And if they have not opened it, we can ask them to permanently delete the open, not to open it. That is the further investigation and analysis. We can do that and we can see which all user, how many users have received the email, how many users have opened it, the system got compromised, right? How many has not opened yet? So we can ask them to delete it. Understand? So uh, that is further analysis we can do. But when NTRF have the alert as uh, uh, left alone, that time human intervention is required. There will be a scenario because again, antivirus is not a human. There is some time machine got compromised. It's a malware, but antivirus has not been detected. Yes or no? But here we are talking about antivirus activities being detected. Yes or no? If not detected, that's why we have seen another solution uh, uh, to tackle with such kind of zero-day attacks. Right? So we'll talk about later period. Uh, that uh, when machine is compromised malware, what are the symptoms? Uh, through what we can identify it can be malware. Not only the antivirus logs also, there are some other communications such as, I will tell you later, but firewall logs also we understand. If you are seeing some traffic being going on some, some higher end port, malicious port number, that is also we can identify. But right now we are talking about the antivirus. So antivirus when generated an event that uh, particular machine has been scanned and extra is left alone, may be possible that antivirus is unable to, uh, you know, clean the file, unable to read the file, right? Unable to take the action. In that case, our action is required, right? Oh, one minute. Nathan? Yes, who call? Yes, who called? 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 Yes, cleaning wala. Yes, who called? 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 Yes, Okay, so what I was telling, my pen came here. And I said left alone, right? So this is what action, different action that antivirus takes when particular machine, a particular file suspected as a suspicious, malicious. These are the actions that antivirus takes. Now, how antivirus scan? There are two types of scanning on the antivirus to scan a file. There are two types of scanning. One is real time scanning, another is full system scan. One time scanning is real time, another is full system scan. What is real time scan? If the file is it downloaded happens. right now, it will start uh, scanning as it is. Like the scanning it of a suspicious uh, hmm? located file only. Real time scan and Full system, system, full, system. Full system. Full system means it will scan all the files. Uh, real time means it will uh, scan the file which is downloaded right now. Right. That's 100% correct. <clears throat> uh, whenever you download any file, right, your antivirus will start scanning. Mm -hmm. Right. New file means real time scan, it will not scan the file which is in, in, in rest, which is in the system is in rest, it will not scan. Only new file that you are downloading, right. It will scan. Okay, but uh, it will scan, right? That we call as real time scan. Means new file, whatever new files comes, either through website you downloaded or email you received, or through and uh, USB you have inserted, right? Any new file comes in the system, and we will start scanning it and take the appropriate action accordingly. Appropriate action accordingly. Got it, point? So now that is called real time scan. Now full scan is whenever you're running the full scan, the all the files in the system will get scanned, right? It is recommended being antivirus team, we also run up real time scan is already enabled. Apart from that, we also run the full scan time to time, maybe once in a week or once in a month like that, full system scan. So my question is from you, you know that whatever file came on your system have already gone through the real time scan, yes or no? Then why time to time we are doing full system scan also? Already file already scanned, right? But why are we are running the full system scan? Because this, uh, so maybe yes, scan yes, of the antivirus signatures are updated. Uh, updated, maybe yes, file. 
when you click on update you will see 300 400 mb sometimes sometimes 1 to 2 gb also update file yes or no that is the reason antivirus uh, uh, you know uh, antivirus agent has been configured not to download the update manually uh, automatically it's manual because might be possible that right now i am having this video conferencing with you right if my bandwidth is limited if my antivirus will start downloading the update my bandwidth will get reduced Yes or some business work I am downloading, LP, the slowness may not happen properly. Yes or no? That is the reason automatically this big files are not being downloaded. Otherwise, it will impact your work that you are doing. So you have the manual option that whenever you are not doing or you have bandwidth, that time you can up upload and install that. Understand? That is the reason. Uh, so in your home, you download it through cloud only. Yes or no? Through direct through your internet. But in your company you may have lakhs of computer kind of company like accenture accenture tcs when they have 4 lakhs 5 lakhs of employees need these many computers only computer workstation server is different thousand of server they have but lakhs of employees for example means there is scheduled time for example every see there are multiple times when your uh, device vendor will release the update high security updates generally release Sir, I don't think so. Is it stuck for everybody? No, 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 no not for no, us. No, 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 no. Uh, because no, after no. I restarted the router, the network is stable. So what I was telling is, what are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? Update, signature update, signature update. Messengers, Messenger, TCS. Thousand of laptop is scan at a particular time. Right. I was telling that uh, <clears throat> when common coming Accenture TCS, when you have four lakh file of employee means four lakh file of user system, which has to be you know uh, downloading the update, which should be downloading the update. So uh, I was telling that high severity updates generally as soon as antivirus uh, 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 cloud team come to know these are the high severity uh, signatures recent malwares, they release the update immediately means as soon as they create a signature. real time updates the update 
Apart from that, uh, some other schedule updates, some low severity signatures are being updated every week, every month like that on schedule time, like like uh, Microsoft. Microsoft Windows update the update daily every week Wednesday. Low severity update, medium severity. They updates every Wednesday. Right? Similarly, uh, these security vendors also follow the same uh, same kind of process. So, for example, at the Wednesday, Symantec Endeavor is reading the update. Now we have four lakh five lakh of users connected to the company network. Update size is let's say one GB. Now every system will download the update one GB. So you can understand now four lakhs of users are downloading at the same time one GB file. If different time also they will download, you understand how much internet bandwidth. May possible that bandwidth will get choked, and people who are working they are not able to work. Yes or no? So it is not a feasible solution in the corporate network to download the update directly from the cloud. So in the company, whenever you have this kind of a structure, right, such kind of architecture, uh, uh, you will have antivirus, you will have manager console, you will have uh, uh, antivirus console, right? So console, all the client will be reporting to the antivirus console. Whenever we install the client, we have to give the IP address, port number of the console, right? So those client will be reporting central console. In central console, we can see the status of each and every client, which all clients are up or down. Sometimes clients are down, some desktop laptops are down, servers are down, we can see those are down, so down side right now, right? The status also green and red, we can see. Uh, as well as uh, uh, definition update also, which system is not updated or last time updated when system, which definition they have. These all information we can check on the antivirus console apart from that now when you have antivirus console manager right uh, your manager will download the uh, download signature only manager will download the signature from the internet and manager can distribute the update to each and every systems internal bandwidth and external bandwidth will use by only, only your manager internet and manager can post the update to each and every system again a small company is good that manager is pushing the update to each and every system. In big company like Accenture, TCS, we have your lakhs of user, right? Very possible manager while pushing the update to lakhs of user, your LAN bandwidth will get choked. Yes or no? We got lakhs of user, 1GB updates, right? So that is something called a GUP, group update provider. So now manager will not send the update to each and every client. We can nominate out of 100, 100 system, we can nominate one system as a GUP. Any antivirus agent, any antivirus agent, we can uh, nominate as a GUP. But yeah, manager will push the update to GUP and GUP will push the update to all the system locally. Get what I mean? So that kind of, that kind of, uh, you know, uh, uh, that kind of architecture we can create in that case. Understand? Hello, Monday Pakka, I am busy. Monday Pakka. Monday Pakka, I am busy. Activity is not done. Monday Pakka. Okay. Monday Pakka, I am busy. Final, I am busy. Hmm. So what are we selling? Ha. So this kind of architecture, some set of system, we can one of the entities we can nominate as GUP. So uh, manager will push the update to GUP, and GUP will push the update to all other. Local system, right? That is the architecture of antivirus deployment. Now we have become the antivirus administrator. That's the anti that's the only responsibility of antivirus administrator. Morning, he will come and check the console. Every antivirus is up to date. If any antivirus is not up to date, he will check. Uh, he if one system is not up to date, he can put directly from the manager. If some set of antivirus client are not updated. He will check whether GUP is, is up or not. May possible the desktop or server he has signed as GUP. Maybe GUP itself is down, not able to take the update from the manager. Hence, he will not able to, it will not able to give the update to other systems also. Right? That is a kind of troubleshooting that antivirus team does. The only work of the antivirus team is to ensure that all the systems antivirus definitions are up to date. Yes or no? So that is the only work of 
antivirus administrator and that is what we call as antivirus and this is how the antivirus works in the corporate network sir can you please repeat this again what this means what sir about gop theek hai wo to extra information hai agar aapko samajh mein nahi aaya to koi dikkat nahi hai that is not something that you are going to do but uh, gop means group update provider when you have lacks of computer if manager alone will push the update to each every system right because 1 gb update 500 mb update it will eat the land bandwidth because local is manager also local and the systems are also local land bandwidth will be utilized so in some set of computers for example 100 computers out of one computer we will nominate a gup the manager will push the update to gup only and then gup will update the locally all the system push the update right we call a gup you means group update provider group of computers it will provide the update so manager for example 100 gup is there so manager will only push the update to 100 gup and all gup will push the update to all 100 200 computer which has local network which is the part of that particular gup understand oh, hello yes sir if the machine is in offline state then uh, how will the update be? see offline stage the if machine is already shut down if machine is not able to so whenever it comes up that time it will post it's not something that one time only it will try to post until unless it is not able to every time it is trying to post trying to post update get in mind so now there might be possible that some user are going out of company network see there are multiple ways multiple con, uh, uh, you know sources you can configure first sources when user is there in the company network so be getting the update through gup right or manager next if user is not connected to the company network then should be downloading the update directly from the cloud once you connect to the internet right so that is the sources that we can configure on your me secondary sources cloud first source is uh, your uh, antivirus manager or gup and second source is cloud especially for uh, you know uh, rem- uh, mo- mobile devices right such as your laptops understand clear and so what is uh, a zero day attack and how it's um, mitigated i will tell you zero day attack means kind of attack which does which none of your devices are having signature we are going to talk about that is the reason we are taking all this sim and everything so right because nowadays this of course the security device work based on signature only right if no signature then means successful compromise will happen you will see in the market even uh, the company which are giant in providing cyber security services their network is also sometimes getting compromised so they are not using these devices all companies are using but still attackers are very intelligent they create new malwares new new signatures they are having right and maybe from new ip address from new domain right so if any of attack happens when none of your security devices are having signature detected it's kind of zero day means developed immediate developed now only the zero day means today only has been developed means It's it's zero day for all the devices. If if your network has been compromised, you got a malware or a cut, you got an attack in your company, but none of your security devices have the signature to detect this. Means all the devices fail to detect it is an attack, right? A malicious activity. That kind of attack we call a zero day attack. So zero day attack is an attack when none of your devices are having signature to detect it. If you want to write, you can write it here. what is zero day attack what uh, is zero day attack so the quality order which you said uh, or any antivirus software has this quality for the by default or yes by default it's by default any antivirus or any antivirus yes okay thank you the name may give different name but it is actually the meaning is quarantine only but name okay. may be different okay let's write what is zero day attack so zero day attack is it's an attack it's an attack when none of none of none of the security devices none of the security devices
having signature to detect it. Zero day attack is an attack. When none of the security devices, none of the security devices in your network has the signature to detect it, right? So if there is a zero attack, means successful compromise will happen, right? And that is what happened in most of the companies. See, almost every industry have the security devices, right? But still, you can see there are so many attacks are happening because those are attacks are zero day for that particular company. Yes or no? It, it may not be a zero day always for the world, security world, but it can be a zero day for your company because what vendor device is product you are using that does not have signature. It's a zero day for you, for your company. Understand? Clear? <laughs> so I have a quick question. How total how many Network security are available for us. Huh? Uh, network security devices. Total, how many network security devices are available? See, all these network security devices only that firewall, we are talking about antivirus, proxy, WAF, these all are network security devices only. Um, total, how many we can, how many are there? Not total, it's not total. See, there are so many different, different type of devices are coming. For single work, then by this device also, this device also, little, little work, right? It up your, be, not not every company can be uh, deploying all the devices because it's not all the cost of the device it's management also right it depends on the uses or what is specific use or what is the critical data or critical component that you want to secure with right accordingly but these are the standard devices that we are discussing right now which every company will be having mm -hmm. understand almost right. all the company will be having but some extra, some extra tools some extra devices for example anti ransomware device Anti only for ransomware, anti ransomware mm -hmm. detection, right? That work only for anti ransomware, right? So in that case, uh, uh, not every company is having anti spam only for spam. So which are means majorly focused on that particular area of uh, of threats, right? So such kind of many type of devices are coming, but here in this training we are talking about mostly the tools that you see on almost all the companies. These are the network security devices which you see in almost all the companies. What I mean? Whenever you go to the company, some extra device you will see. Which is IPS not and normal. IDS? I will discuss right. that IPS IDS also. You will not see in every company, but we will discuss how it works. But you will see in many companies. Okay. Thank you. Sir. Sir, I have a question. So what is OWASP implementation? Uh, you keep this handwork also. OWASP. OWASP top 10 attack or top 10 vulnerability. You just write the homework. What is OWASP top 10? Ah, OWASP. O W A S P. OWASP top 10 application attack. Application attacks. OWASP top 10 application attacks. Slash vulnerabilities. Slash vulnerability. OWASP is a non profit organization. OWASP, just I'm telling you just for your knowledge that OWASP is a non-profit organization which always does the research and publish a report. OWASP top 10 OWASP top 10 vulnerability or application attack. OWASP is a non-profit organization which does the research for the whole year, which all for whole year, which all the top 10 attack for the applications. This year, where applications impacted with which all attacks, what are the top 10? They publish a report every year. Get mind? We call us OWASP top 10. Get mind? Interview asked sometime what are those for this year? What are the OWASP top 10? Your cross site scripting vulnerability, uh, this one, uh, SQL injection attack, DDoS. These you will see in many of the time, you will see this is the part of top 10, right? So, OWASP top 10 report that published, right? Many of the attacks you might not heard about, but at least you 
get some names. What are the awards top 10, right? Names. If you're not remembering all 10, at least show you should name. Because this is a frequently asked question, what are the OWASP top 10 application attack, right? So you get some names so that you'll be able to tell. Apart from that, your DOS, DDoS, your DDoS attack, cross-site scripting, SQL injection, right? Uh, these are some of the famous application uh, level of attack, which most of the interview ask. So better to prepare it well so that you would be able to answer the question. Okay. Okay, so uh, next device is IPS IDS. ये क्लास भी क्लीन करना है ना तो जाए ना मैंने क्लीन की बहुत गंदी हो गई हाँ मतलब मैं पढ़ा रहा हूँ उसके बाद भी हाँ हम्म so what I'm saying uh, IPS IDS right you can see behind the router you have the firewall right ideally this is recommended uh, deployment in the companies see जर ideally uh, you know when you take the internet connection in the company internet connection should be terminated on the router means should be plugged in the router Right, because this is different network. This is a different network. When there are two network and has to create a route, we have to deploy the router. So always router will be in the gate. Uh, this route, one router will be in the gate. That's the reason we call it a gateway router. This firewall is in the gate. The behind the router, we call it a gateway firewall. Gateway or perimeter firewall or perimeter router. Perimeter understand right? Perimeter? Ah, नहीं पता. Mathematics नहीं पढ़ा क्या तुमने? This is center right and border we call it perimeter. Yes or no? In your company, company people will come and go. Well, perimeter, right? So this is called perimeter. This is center and this is perimeter, right? From where anybody come inside, either from any of the places, right? We call it perimeter. Border. So uh, that is the reason you call this gateway or perimeter router gateway or perimeter. Firewall. Some people will use parameter word, some people will use the gateway word, right? So anybody asking gateway firewall means the uh, firewall which is there on the gate. The parameter firewall means the firewall which is on the gate, parameter, right? Parameter. So either, uh, you know, deployment is to terminate your internet connection on the router, right? And then behind the firewall. Because router I used to route the traffic, firewall for filtering, security. A router work on the which layer? Layer number? Layer three. Layer, layer three. three, layer number three, layer three, layer number three, right? Because it is an IP address, and firewall works on layer number four, four. Three, layer four, four transport, layer four. three and four, three. four, four, three. four. Four. four, right? Three, four. Some, some people say that if your firewall works on the layer number three, why you do not? Why you use router? You can directly deploy a firewall only on the gateway, direct terminal internet access on the internet on the WAN port and the firewall only. Why you need router? In a small company, you can do that. Instead of going with the router, directly terminate your internet from the WAN port of your firewall, and you have LAN port here, internal systems. You can do that, but in that case, firewall will have to do routing also and filtering also. Me, double work. Yes or no? Routing and filtering, both work it has to do. Let's router do the routing and let's firewall do the filtering. That is in big companies, because if one person will do all the work, Resource utilization. That's why in a big company you will have a router on the gateway to, to route and firewall behind the gateway to filter. Understand? That is the recommended deployment router and behind that firewall in the corporate network, in the enterprise network. Understand? So now you understand for application level of security, we have the WAF and for network security, we have the firewall. Yes or no? In some company, you will see IEPS IDS also. 
IPS and IDS solution. IPS stands for intrusion prevention system. Prevention system. Intrusion detection system. Intrusion prevention detection system and intrusion detection system. Your IPS work on the on the network layer also, transport layer, network and transport, as well as it works on the application layer also. Means what your firewall is doing, network security, that also can be worked by network. Means network-based attack also you can detect, as well as application layer of attack also it can detect. Working funda is different, but it has visibility on the network packet also, header also, as well as data also. Some cross-site scripting, uh, SQL engine attack can also be detected by the IP IDS. Apart from network layer of attacks also can be detected by your IP IDS. But Funda is different than firewall, right? So if you have the already firewall and IP IDS, both, uh, sorry, we have both, you may not go with the IP IDS because application layer you already have. have. So it is, but some companies find their data, their application is very critical. Right, they may having firewall web also. Apart from that, they may have defined other vendor IBS IDS also. IPS and IDS both are one device only, different modes. But both are one device only. IPS IDS one device only. You may deploy IPS IDS also. Sometimes some traffic is going firewall is unable to detect it, but it's kind of attacks. It basic signature IPS may generate some some alert. It's a attack. Firewall may fail it. Sometimes web may fail it. And application level, you have IP IDS for application level attack. So your IP IDS again work based on the signatures, right? And uh, uh, why we call us IP IDS? So this is a two modes, it's the same hardware or software, which have two different modes. One is IPS, other IDS. So you have the option which mode you want to deploy. If you select IPS mode, then whenever any connection comes, if IPS detected some malicious activity, IPS will block it. And then generate an alert saying that traffic came from this particular this is SQL injection attack and it has been extent taken is blocked. Means connection will be blocked. It's called prevention mode. Prevention is better than cure, ideally. Right? Means before attack happens, it will block itself and alert. That mode is called as IPS mode, intrusion prevention mode. Another mode is called as intrusion detection mode. What happens in detection? Intrusion detection mode means it will detect any. It will detect. It only detects only. Right. Whenever any malicious traffic will come, it will detect it's an attack. DDoS attack. It detects an attack, but it will not block the traffic. It will not block the communication. It will only detect and generate an alert. Means alert. There will be intrusion detection. Means it will detect, but it will not generate an alert. Yes or no? That mode is called as intrusion detection system. So which mode is better? IPS or IDS? IPS. Ideally, IPS should be better. But still, most of the deployment of this device will be on IDS mode. Why? Because IDS, IPS, this particular device generate a lot of false positive. Means not exactly you can capture all the times in attack. IPS capture is an attack, but once you investigated, you came to know business traffic. It's not a malicious. So a lot of means 100% fine tuning of IPS digital is very, very difficult. Because especially for the company, which is respect, which is expecting the traffic from multiple geolocation, huge number of traffic from different IP, different sources, right? Big company especially. A lot of time false positive. If in your network, traffic is coming from defined sources, some limited sources, then IP is a good solution. But for the company which may expect traffic from different geolocation, different sources, right? A lot of time your IPS will generate a false positive alert. And if you configure it on the prevention mode, the traffic will get blocked. Means your business got blocked and CIA will get violated. CIA means confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Integrity and so which particular which particular vector will get will availability. get availability. availability impacted? Availability means your resources 
are not available for legitimate user availability being a cyber security you have to ensure these triage right cia so right now we are planning to secure the network but, and deploy ips and resulting vision blocked is it a cyber security no because we are not mm -hmm. able, we are not able to achieve these three vectors winning the war does not make any sense if most of the people are died yes or no securing the business does not make any sense if legitimate people are also are not able to access the resources right that is the reason in this case if you see that uh, uh, talking blocked and you are affecting such business we can deploy on the ids mode ids will detect and generate an alert then we can investigate ourselves analyze ourselves whether it's malicious activity or legitimate activity if it is malicious activity then we can block it on ips manually and firewall and all after investigation ips prevent it give the fast result before compromise happen prevent it but still also it impact the availability A small companies for specific sources if you are receiving the traffic ips is one of the good solution some company one which are deploying on the ips mode on the initial deployment they must have deployed on the ies mode only you call learning mode for that for the ips learning mode you deploy on the ides mode get the alert and investigate if any alert falls positive do the required modification on the policy of the ips so that next time it will not trigger false positive but once you do this kind of fine tuning changes 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 time may come when most of the alerts are true positive means actually attack that time you can change the mode to ips okay if sign kind find of comes come, comes up prevent it means block the traffic understand so if you are if you plan to deploy the ips you do not deploy the ips from day one you deploy on the ids mode only that we call a learning mode for ips get it learning do the required changes one it is very well fine tuned right next time most of the time 95 percent 98 percent time true positive only mean most of the alerts are actually at attack that time you can change the mode to which mode ips mode ips mode 13 ids mode alert is generated or not hmm? what sir alert is generated and not in the ids mode both mode alert will get generated in both mode in ips mode it will block and generate an alert in ids mode it will just detect and generate an alert alert will get generated in both the cases the only thing is in ips mode it will block in ids mode it will not block understand that is called as ips device right these devices that we discussed the standard devices that is the real we discuss here you will see in almost every organization the standard network security devices right and why but, it is important why it is important to understand this because once you work as a SOC team right so it's very important to have the basic understanding of all those devices because uh, these devices will generate the logs and these logs actually you are going to monitor in the SOC team. So if your, uh, for example, firewall generated the logs and came to the sim, right? Now you'll understand what is firewall, what log firewall generate. You understand firewall layer three, layer four means source IP should be there, destination IP should be there, source port, destination port, and action. You have a firewall block it or allow it. When you see the proxy log, you understand when anybody access the internet, proxy, proxy will capture the URL, username. Right, source IP, destination IP, all, and so on. Email get recaptured, source IP, email ID, destination email ID, subject lane, subject name, attachment name, all those stuff. Right now, you understand very well. If you do not have understanding of those devices, you cannot become successful because you do not have basic clear. As a SOC analyst, most of the time, you are not going to directly work on these devices IPS, IDS, a proxy, firewall. You are not going to work. That's a responsibility of network security team. You are the part of cyber security. So we are going to work on some solution like SIM, EDR, XDR, right? So these kind of solution we are going to work, right? Not especially on the SIM. Without SOC is not a SOC without having SIM. Get in mind? SIM is central monitoring system that we are going to talk about uh, maybe uh, today or tomorrow, maybe tomorrow. 
central monitoring system which Softail uses. So neither you will have access to these devices nor you are going to work directly until unless you are working in the products based company. In some products based company where you have one security team only, manage network security also, cyber security also, right? That time you may have chance to explore all the different tools. But especially for service based company, you may have different different teams. So our team is especially for cyber security team. Understand? We will not work directly on these tools. Now let's come back. Let me explain you about the VPN. <laughs> because VPN is also one thing that you are going to use when you are a company, right? You are in the company, we are going to use it, right? As well as for lab access also, once we start the practicals and once I have to give the access to you for SIM solution, you are going to connect from home using the VPN only. How people access and connect to the company network by home, how people work from home, they connect to the company server, company devices from home itself, which is having even private IPs. Our servers also will have the private IPs. You can access from home. You understand private IPs are internal IP address. You cannot connect directly using internet. Yes or no? Private IP cannot be identified within the network, within the local area network, not over the internet. So how you can access our server, which have a local IP address, uh, internal IP address from the internet using the VPN. Many of the people during the COVID work from home used to connect to the company private network from home itself. Understand? So what is VPN? <clears throat> Let's understand. What is the full form of VPN? Virtual, virtual. private network. Private virtual? Private network. Private network. Virtual private network. We do not call it a private network, right? We call it virtual private network. The name suggests that it is actually not a private network, but virtually it is private network. Yes or no? That means it is actually not a private network. Virtually it has created a private network. That is the name of VPN. Means private, there are two types of network, private and public, public means public. internet. Public. Internet. Public means internet. Private means your land. Um, internet. internet. And public means internet. Internet. Right. internet. internet and internet. Local internet and internet and internet. So when we talk about public network means we are talking about internet. So virtual private network means creating the private network over the public network means internet. Means you are here. I have my some resources which are here. Right, just give me one moment. Just give me two minutes. Hello? Huh. So now you can see here. You can see in this company. You have switch. Yeah. 
your system having IP192.168.0.2. This is within the company, you have this system having private IP address. You are home user, you have connected to internet. So what IP you will get? Private or public? Public, for example, 196.0.2.100. So can you access this system from internet? No. Can we access? Why you cannot access? No. Also this is public. Try. How you cannot, why you cannot access? Because this PC this is, is public connected with public IP. The system has the private IP address and private, any computer which is connected to the private IP address cannot connect to the internet directly means outside you cannot access directly. Directly, your system this could not access because your system is a private or public network, internet, and you are the private network. Means any system which is a part of private network only can access this. Any system which has the public IP cannot access it directly. But you have to do it when you are connecting through home. You are having public IP address, but your company systems are having private IP address. Now, in order to complete your work, you have to connect to these systems. How we can do that? Now, the technological VPN, virtual private networks, VPN technology, what it does it, it create private network virtually over the public network. Virtually, it create the private tunnel. It create the private tunnel between, right? Why, see, why I'm configuring See, some of the important server, I would have configured private public IP address and given the access. The reason why we have not given configuring public IP on the critical server system means, means exposing your system to all people. Yes or no? Bad people also, internet. You have good people, bad people, both. You wanted to give the access to good people, but in internet, there are bad people also. Yes or no? It's same like I am staying in HSR layout, right? I have to go with the Marathal in Mangaluru, right? So I have a bag with money. I want to travel now, go. In road, you have bad people, good people. Yes or no? Anybody can steal and anybody will get a fight with me and steal the money. Yes or no? Means when I carry a bag, they can see, oh, this person is carrying a bag and it may have money. Anybody can steal, right? But what if I create a tunnel between below the road, I can create a tunnel from my home to Marathalli destination. Now from my home to Marathalli, it's a private tunnel, right? Nobody else can know and nobody else. If I'm going also, nobody will come to know that I'm carrying something or I'm going there or something. It's a private, right? It's a private. It is not destination, not publicly open. It's open just from my home to this home. It's a private. I will feel like I'm not necessarily out. I'm Marathalli only because I'm connected and nobody can see it. Yes or no? It's a tunnel. VPN also created tunnel. Over the public network, it will create private tunnel. Private tunnel means whatever you are accessing here, whatever data communication happen, it will get encrypted. First thing, Whatever communication happen, it will get encrypted. Man in the middle cannot see what communication is happening. Second thing is, over public it will create private tunnel and you will get the private IP. Virtually, you will move from this location to this location. Virtually, your company will treat that your system is not a part of public network, internet. You virtually can move to here. But means whatever your people sitting in the company can access resources having private IP. You can also virtually shift from here. You got, you will get the private IP after connect to VPN, and you can access all the private resources internal to your company. Get your mind? Virtually, you'll shift from here to here, and once you connect to the VPN, right, you'll get the private IP address, means which is part of your network only, and whatever access has been given to you, the system, the system, or whatever, you'll be able to access like when you are there in the company. Same resources, if you have access, you can use it. Means you are at home, but still virtually you have been shifted to your company by connecting the VPN. Sir, understand? 
Uh, yes. Can't we call this as one form of netting? Huh? What? No, no, it's not a netting. Netting is a VPN. It's separate, separate from science. It's a separate technology. VPN. <clears throat> Understand? So VPN. Once I connect to the VPN, once it is connected, I will get the private IP address. Me virtually, I have shifted here. So what happens is to configure the VPN, you have to use VPN devices, right? So firewall is coming out of the box feature with the VPN. Many of the firewall is having VPN feature also. Next generation firewall coming VPN feature. You know, there are something here we talk about standard firewall, right? Nowadays, next generation firewalls are coming, which is having multiple features on the same device. Right now, we talk about separate, separate email gateway, firewall, web, proxy, all. Yes or no? Nowadays, next generation devices are coming. Next generation tool, we call it next generation firewall. We call it next generation firewall. That means that particular device is having firewall feature. Along with that, it has many other features. It can have proxy also. It can have VPN also. It can have email gateway also. It can have a, a you know uh, anti-spam and other solution as well. One device having all the features, right? That device we call a next generation firewall. Previously, we used to call it UTM, Unified Threat Management. But UTM name is gone now. People are using the term name next generation firewall. Before I come back for the VPN feature, now I'm talking about where next generation firewall. Is it good, right? Instead of uh, you know uh, having multiple devices for different feature, we can use next generation firewall. Cost also will be less. Different hardware, different software installing application. Instead of that, one device only you, you inst inst install, having all the feature deployment cost, licensing cost, all will be less. What do you think that? Any, any enterprise no balance should, go for, should go for you, uh, next generation firewall? No, sir. Small Why? Can go for Why? Multiple layers. Because an attack uh, has happened. Uh, only... uh, every device, everything right. gets compromised, right? Correct. See what happens is, First reason is single point of failure. For example, some failure happen. All the feature will be open. Means it will come. It's been gone. You had anti. You had firewall. You had email gateway. You had web. Right. All the feature has been gone. Single point of failure. Second feature is uh, if, for example, you have worked for Fortinet. Fortinet. Some type of Fortinet does not have signature. Means. Because signature is being created by the same vendor for all the devices, means it's a single point of compromise. If it is been compromised, all feature will get compromised. Yes or no? And second day, load. Load also. If one device will perform all the functions, it may not be able to bear the, all the loads, right? That is the reason. Next generation firewall is good for small companies, for SME kind of company which want all the features but cannot bear the cost. Management also will be very difficult for different different devices. But here, one device can be managed by a single person, two to three person. But different different devices, we, we, we should have manageability also. Hmm. Manageability also difficult, right? Lot of cost. Isn't it? That's the reason. Uh, big company may not go for this device. But a small company may go for which feature? Next generation firewall. Now, a lot of companies are working to create a next generation firewall, which can do means which will not be a single point of failure. Also, means they will do some use some technology so that uh, it will not be a single point of failure, as well as it should be able to bear the load also because manageability and cost is a big factor. And for different different devices, manageability and cost the big factor. Managing different different devices, different people is needed. Right, as well as cost is a big factor for going on. So many of the companies are working, many of the vendors are working and creating the next generation firewall, uh, you know, which can overcome such obstacle of going with next gen firewall, which is having right now. Understand? So because that if they create such solution, which will not be a single point of failure, maybe failure will not happen so so uh, so usual, right? They may have some other uh, options so that it would get down also maybe some other for example your laptop is coming with your uh, server is coming with two network port network port 
if one network port is faulty then it can server still can work with other network port means you have some uh, some failover kind of thing right so that kind of feature that companies are working on so that drastically the deployment and licensing cost can be reduced understand but as of now next generation firewall is not good to having all the features on single firewall but many of the company enable one or two features for example my firewall i have enabled firewall feature as well as vpn feature on the same device understand not all the features but one or two features based on the resource utilization we can enable so in our lab we have 14net firewall 14net 40 gate firewall on which we have enabled firewall feature as well as we have enabled vpn feature also vpn also you need our device right so in fi this firewall vpn you can buy it separate device also as well as firewall also have nowadays vpn inbuilt feature so in this feature i have firewall i have configured vpn right so what happens is now a vpn also multiple type ssl vpn as well as site to site vpn ssl or ipsec vpn or site to site uh, ssl vpn uh, ssl uh, sorry I, ipsec means site to site and ssl or remote access vpn means client for example uh, in many company has remote user which work from the company or from the home or the company right remote user from their, their laptop they can connect to the company network that kind of vpn we call as ssl vpn or remote access vpn remotely movable user who are doing some 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 time here sometime here sometime here who are not coming in the company every day they used to connect to the company so they can go with the remote access vpn in the remote access vpn all will happen for example this is a vpn device that vpn device will have the public ip address right so you have to consider public ip for example i have configured 190 uh, uh, 175.0.2.100 then I have to convert the VPN port. VPN port, for example, I have configured 4433. Get it? Then I have to create users also here. Which user? User and password. Because it's a public IP address. If anybody knows the public IP address, port number, they can connect otherwise. So only legitimate users should connect. In the VPN device, I have to connect username and password I have to create. So now this user will install VPN client on agent, which connect to this VPN client service. Enter the agent. Install the agent and configure IP address and port number. After that, once you connect, it will ask you username and password. So first of all, to connect to provide the connectivity, you IP address and port number. Now to authenticate whether legitimate user, valid user are trying or not. So what username and password you have created? Same username and password. If it, if it enter, then it will create a private tunnel. Tunnel will create and you get the this firewall will get the private IP to you. We have defined this, uh, you know, the series of IP address here. Once anybody connect to the VPN, which IP has to be assigned? It will private IP only, which IP has to be assigned. So once you connect it, verification will happen of your authentication of your credential. Once you connect it, you will get the private IP address. Once you connect to the VPN, that means you can access any of the resources if you have been given access to. You'll feel like you're in the sitting in the company only. All communication will get encrypted. Even your ISP, anybody and device will not understand. They will feel like you connected to this only. In I ISP, you connected, right? I see firewall, understand this is the source IP and this is the destination IP. They will not come to know within the destination IP, you are connected to some other devices. They will not come to know because all communication is encrypted. They only see the header, right? And header information will have the source and this destination and this port every time. All communication happening further, you are accessing remote access and you are transferring some data, something happening, right? All is going through uh, this encrypted, right? For example, now you connect to the company network, you got the private IP, means virtually your system has been separated here. So now, whenever you access any website, it will not go through your internal access. Since you are the part of here, it go through this access only. So, for example, you access Facebook, your IP will not go to Facebook because you virtually shifted here only. So your company internet, I will go to the internet. Yes or no? You know what happens? See, we have similar kind of environment. It's been six, seven years back when first time I configured this VPN to give the access. So same configuration we had. People used to connect to the internet, uh, to the VPN to access our, uh, our server. That time internet was not so cheap. It was so costly. We had a plan of 500 GB, uh, 200 or 500 GB per month. When I give the internet, I see that in two, three, uh, four, five days only internet bandwidth got adjusted. 
I seen that because having the remote access on the practice in the lab does not take much bandwidth because we are not developing anything. I was thinking, what is the reason? The reason I found it once you are connected, for example, you connected to the VPN of my company to do the practice. Now you got connected. Now you want to run with the lab access practice. You started watching some movies on YouTube or you are downloading, started downloading something. But you forgot to disconnect. You have not disconnected to the VPN. You should disconnect, right? But you had not disconnected. In this case, you are using this bandwidth, means your internet will get used. Apart from that, you are here. So my internet also getting used now. Both bandwidth are getting end-to-end -end bandwidth from here to here and here to here. Both bandwidth are being, being used. And that is the reason many of the people connect to the lab and do not disconnect and start downloading and start watching the movies. And adding bandwidth gets exhausted. Understand? Yes or no? Because once you connect, you are virtually shifted here. Everything will go through my company IP address also. Only as well as uh, internet bandwidth. So there is one solution on the VPN device called split tunneling. Split tunneling. Split tunneling means once you connect to the VPN, right? Whatever resource, internal resource you access, right? Your internet connected here. Any resources which are not here outside of the internet you access will go through directly your internet, not through here. That is called split tunneling. Means public network that you access outside of the company will go directly to the internet. And internal resources you access will go through our bandwidth. Understand? This is called as split tunneling. Then why once I identify, I did some research how to tackle this kind of problem. And I came to know about this concept. We call it split tunneling. So now we applied split tunneling. So whatever practice you do in the lab, it will use our bandwidth. But if you access some other website, it will go through internet. your internet only, not ours. Directly to the internet, not through ours private, our internet. Get away. Sir, I have a question, sir. Yes. So do we have, uh, when we connect with the VPN, do we have a two IP address, sir? Then two IP address means? Uh, so after connecting, uh, like for our system, if I connected to the private network from uh -huh. my system, so uh -huh. I'll get a random random IP address, sir. Right, correct. So when I connected, yeah, when I connected to U VPN, then it will be a, uh, the, the, the organization IP address. Sir. Right, correct. So Correct. that means it. I have a two IP address. Right, you have two IP address. One is virtual IP address, uh, virtual IP address for VPN, and other is public IP address for your internet. Get what? You, you if you install, there are some technologies, for example, virtual machine also if you install, you'll have multiple Ethernet card. Get what? The system may have multiple IP address. In this case, private public IP address for this one, and private IP address for your VPN. Okay. Understand? Same technology. Same, okay, sir. Yeah. Same feature thank, thank of you, VPN sir. we use to access malice, uh, we access the website which is blocked for your country using VPN. For example, USA, we have some people from USA, right? USA government website or some website which is only for USA, not for India, not for other countries. I want to access a website which is hosted in the US but not allowed in India. Whenever I'm accessing those websites, I'm getting block page. This is US government website, not allowed to anyone. Some some page cannot be saved like that. But being sitting in India, I want to access a website. Portion of US. How can I access now? In this case, what I will do? I will install a VPN client. Right? And VPN server should be in US. VPN server, this is a VPN server, right? IP address, the I we call it VPN server. Right, which gives the IP address and connect. Right, so VPN server, if it belongs to USA, I install an agent and it connect to the VPN server which is USA. Maybe this VPN server is a public IP address which belongs to USA. So once I connect to the VPN, I will come here, and once we access any internet, my IP will not go to the internet. Instead, VPN IP will go to the internet. When I access any US site. So I will understand the IP address belongs to USA and this particular IP address. And resulting, you will be able to access the website. Understand? After connect to the VPN. Because VPN, your IP will not go. You see, VPN server IP will go to the internet. And VPN server belongs to USA. 
and resulting you will be able to access our site belong to USA. That is how people are using to uh, uh, VPN to access block website. Free VPN you are using, you do not have to configure IP address port number or anything because people are not so technical. So it has been configured already. Whenever you install VPN, by default VPN port number and IP address is configured, which you cannot. Some free VPN, some paid VPN also coming in the internet. You have the option to select the location also. Germany, USA, Saudi Arabia, Pakistan. So, so what happens is once I select Germany location, right? Germany servers IP address port number will be configured automatically. It has already list of IP address port number, but it is not visible to you because we are not technical. Not only technical people are using, right? Just give the kind of comfort so that you will not have to do anything. Once you select USA, USA server IP address port number will be configured in the client. Once you select Germany, Germany IP address port number. Once you configure, uh, for example, UK, US IP address, UK IP address, right? Or some website, for example, uh, 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 Germany, I want to access Germany website, I can configure Germany. Maybe if you, some website of Germany allowed in the USA, but not in India, even I can connect with, with uh, USA VPN and access Germany website. Yes or no? So what website you are using which belongs to which country? If that country uh, VPN you connect, you will get a faster speed. Instead of routing your connection from Germany, Germany to UK or US, directly connect to that VPN server. So that IP belongs to that location only. Yes or no? That is how people are using VPN to access. For example, some website belongs to India, blocked for India. You are, uh, you understand, right? How it is being blocked? Uh, you know, generally ISP, whenever you access anything, it goes through the ISP firewall, your internet service provider firewall. Yes or no? Your internet service provider is having firewall. Generally, ISP do not block anything for anyone. But in case government respect, uh, government, uh, you know, uh, request, government uh, instruct ISP, this particular website uh, application concept block with the sorry. TikTok. TikTok. TikTok and hundred of Chinese app, right? How this block happens? First of all, the application must be connecting some IP address. Those IP address will be blocked. The DNS and the domain will be blocked on the DNS. IP address will be blocked on the firewall. Yes or no? Blocked. So whenever you access such application, it connects with that particular IP address, IP address gets blocked. Sometimes IP address may change by the, uh, that application, but domain name will remain same. Facebook, if you I want to block Facebook IP address and associated domain name will be blocked, then you cannot access. Whenever you access Facebook, whatever IP it gets is all, but it will block because on the DNA itself they have blocked. Means you will not be able to access those website. Application also, they will not be able to access. Yes or no? Because the domain or IP address they are connected is blocked by the ISP. If still people have started using it, some people, how they are using it? They connected through VPN. Once you connect to the VPN, your, your location will get shifted from here to here. And now you access that application or website. Now here, because your ISP understand you connect from this one and this is the destination IP. IP do not understand that you are connecting to the yeah, tons of application to TikTok. IP and source is this one, this one is this one. But once you connect with this, you access to talk and this IP will go to the internet, not this one. And for other one, it is accessible. It is not intercepted by your ISP. And that is the reason you are able to access the website, which is blocked for India, in India. And it's still VPN, VPN, you can access. Many people are using VPN. Sir, even attacker also can use, uh, use this VPN, right? I hope you are using for legitimate purpose. <laughs> yes, sir, but uh, he can also make use of it. So VPN, people are misusing also VPN, not for study or not for actual use. They are misusing also, right? Sometimes attacker also using VPN to hide their identity. So that actual IP will be hidden behind the VPN and VPN IP will go. Sometimes many attacks happen behind the VPN. Yes or no? That's the reason Indian government instructed VPN provider that you have to disclose the identity of people. You have to give the information. Any of the VPN, the part of India, right? So they should have customer information and they should give the information to the government. Otherwise, we do not use, we do not require you, you go out of India. 
what happens is only vpn service vpn device server will record the logs right who has connected for example some some people access the vpn and connect to some site which is blocked yes or no only vpn uh, vendor and vpn server has recorded who has connected because every time vpn ip is going to the internet other people will not come to know what is the original ip address of the system so government instruction that you have to share the detail with the government otherwise you go stop your service here and go your home go back to your home right? because many people are misusing especially that is the reason attacks are especially being originated from outside because outside countries are not going to help you even some big attack will come they will not help you that's the reason in cyber security we believe in we believe in prevention we we should have some kind of network so that we'll be able to prevent the attack yes or no not for cure not for investigation within the country if you have some 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 physical attack some uh, some theft happen you have police they can catch because they have all control physical attack right but virtual attack cyber attack are happening from outside the country and we don't have control even if you find the attacker also who was the one the country is not going to help other countries are not going to help right we are helpless that's the reason instead of cure we uh, you know uh, believe in prevention yes or no we should have such kind of security control so that we can uh, you know prevent our network we can prevent the cyber attacks we do not lose the ifir most of the time right because investigation is a never ending process most of the time and if you come to know also excel is not in your hand yes or no but it is very important to inform to the government when such kind of attack will happen it's a liability and it's a, a you know a responsibility of the company to uh, to inform to the government if the attack involve uh, the uh, you know the expose of user information uh, you know confidential private information of the user identity information the payment card industry information if those information are being compromised it's responsibility uh, of the company to inform to the government because the information is not there it's the country information, the government, the whole public information. Yes or no? If any company had this kind of attack, the, the big, big, big uh, case, big uh, penalty as well as maybe company license will get cancelled. Understand? So that is the how the things work. People will hide their self, their identity behind the VPN. And that the company uses is the main use of the VPN to, to create the tunnel, right? So that people can access. But how people misusing is the VPN feature using technology is to access some block website. Yes or no? Clear? Clear this? I will teach sir, you. Uh, hmm, yes. So that the uh, dark web also can be accessed by uh, VPN, like we can access Tor browser, Tor browser, Tor browser. browser. It actually has the inbuilt VPN on that Tor browser. Okay. Tor browser is kind of, it works as a VPN only. Second thing, Tor browser will not store your history, your cookies, right? As well as can create a tunnel also and give different IP addresses. It work the, it use the VPN features. Tor browser, right? So uh, I don't have energy now. Otherwise, I would have explained you difference between proxy and uh, VPN. How you know using proxy also you can access block website. So uh, this VPN that I talk about just now, one moment, huh? Sir, come again, sir. Please, that uh, dark web, uh, what is that, this thing? And dark web, you're talking about Tor browser. I was talking about Tor browser. Sir, the data... Spell data it, sir. Uh, T-O? T-O-R. Tor. Tor browsers. Tor. Google, 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 Mozilla, Firefox, you have browser, right? Similarly, uh -huh, browser. like that. Only. Tor browser. Browser. Uh, yeah, sir. Uh, actually, you... Okay. I'll take the query, just give you five minutes. Let me complete this topic first. Uh, what I'm saying is uh, uh, this VPN, when you connect from the home, right, install the client, this VPN called SSL VPN or uh, uh, remote access VPN. When you have multiple sites, for example, you have office in Bangalore, you have office in Pune, you have office in USA. Different, different locations, different, different internet access they have taken. But their users also want to connect internally. Because all the system, if my company is in Pune and Bangalore, for example. Now, Bangalore user, how they connect to the Bangalore site? Uh, uh, for Mumbai user, how they connect to Bangalore? Everybody will have a, to connect to the VPN only to communicate and to access some servers. But are you connecting? If you're working with multiple com uh, such companies having multi-location, sometimes you go to Bangalore, sometimes you go to Mumbai, still you are able to access, right? 
the computer server which is hosted in different location it does not have to connect to the vpn why because there are two uh, there are two ways to connect all the offices one is mpls you can buy a dedicated link from isp dedicated bandwidth to all the location on the internet which is one of the costly solution one of the cheapest solution is side to side vpn see the more secure way is mpls means dedicated bandwidth one pipe directly for you which connect other lo all the connection location we call it mpls the dedicated lease line dedicated connection dedicated pipe only for you <laughs> second thing is side to side vpn side to side vpn means one vpn is on one location now user can connect uh, agent so same device you can configure other location also these two devices will create the private tunnel in between now this sort of user will connect connected behind this device can connect with other site because these two devices has created private tunnel in between behind these device whatever user has there behind the device whatever user they can connect with each other like private network mean these two devices will create a private tunnel that vpn will call site to site vpn or ipsec vpn site to site or ipsec ip security these two two, two different ip site system will create a private tunnel that will be site to site or ipsec vpn Uh, so yeah. uh, huh, tomorrow uh, just explaining you the detail of uh, difference between how we can access block website using proxy also and vpn any solution you can use either proxy or vpn still you can use block website and uh, so but technology is almost i mean entirely different vpn is different and proxy is different but how it is going to help in this five minute session i will explain you okay now question if you have uh, sir uh, we have discussed about uh, split tunneling right so uh -huh. Just want to know where the split tunneling is configured. Is it on the on the on this one and the uh, your firewall device? On the firewall, firewall device, yes. Okay, on so respect to firewall server, right? Uh, on the firewall server, right? Maybe VPN server. In firewall, okay. we may have VPN for teacher also, right? Enabled. So on the VPN yeah. server only, we define this. Okay. Yeah. Understood. Thank you. Okay. Fine. So tomorrow we'll start the sim. Now we'll understand uh, these devices work on based on signature, and there will be scenario when there is a zero day attack, right? When none of your devices are having signature, so that means your network, your device will get compromised. How we can, in that case, we have to monitor whole network, who is going, who is coming across the network. We have to keep an eye, and we have to check ourselves what is suspicious activity, what is not a suspicious activity, right? Manually ourselves, we have to check. Right. So we use the word SIM. We are going to use the SIM. How SIM is going to help? What is SIM and everything? We'll start. So tomorrow onwards, recording will not be uploaded. Right. Tomorrow onwards, you have to create the notes, each and everything. Note also have Today been shared. Recording will be uploaded. Today's recording will be uploaded. Tomorrow onwards, recording will not be shared. And you have to make the notes. And you have to very, very be very attentive. Focused, right? So, so from, from when the lab will lab let me, let me complete here. Whenever I'm speaking, please do not stop me in between. I give the enough chance to you to ask the question, right? When I'm in the flow, I forget the topic and topic will get diverted. So just for just a moment. So what I'm saying is tomorrow onwards, recording will not be uploaded. You understand? I already explained you the reason. However, if anybody is not able to join any particular day, but not every day, any particular day, you can inform me prior to the class that I'm able to join. So I'll give the temporary one-time voice recording to you so that you can complete the session. I, so if you think that now I will not be able to revise, I am delivering the same, I am following the same way since last eight years, same way. And almost people are getting the job. Get in mind? That means people are able to cope up. We have those resources that people are able to understand, able to cope up, right? So I think that says that question should not be raised. So be focused and follow it. In case you are not able to join any day, personally you inform to me so that after the class, I will share the temporary link to complete it. Okay. Same document has been whatever I'm going to cover tomorrow onwards. One document, sim notes. I think it is not shared now. I will share with you if you do not share sim notes. Tomorrow onwards, all the topics that we are going to cover, it is available on the notes. However, you have to create the notes here also. See, I have the option to use the slides and read the slides. I'm not reading it. Why? Because I'll be explaining you here. One time I will draw the architecture and I will explain you 
right? One time, second thing you'll write. And third time you will read, mean three times. And that is the reason I'm not using slides here. Otherwise, I would have finished three months training and one and a half month only by reading the slides, right? That is the reason I'm, uh, I'm explaining in front of you so that there are more chances of keeping it in your mind. And second thing, uh, explaining like on the board gets a better idea instead of reading the slides. Okay, now you can ask the question. Lab access. Now, of course, see lab access right now. If you go, you'll understand anything. No, right? No sense of doing it. You get three months of access, it gets wasted. Isn't it? That's the reason. See, once we start the practical, class will practical, practical, theory, practical, theory, practical only. It will not stop till the end. Yes or no? But in order to do the practical, first of all, our fundamental will be clear. Now, some architecture, concept. Once it is clear, then only we'll be able to perform the practical. Some people will find there will be very hurry in practical, practical. But your practical is fully practical class only, hands-on class. But we have to reach that level. If I enable the lab now, you not understand anything, you will not be able to perform any activity. Unnecessarily, your time will get wasted. Yes or no? From the date, we enable the access till three months, you'll have the lab access, right? So we have to utilize that time. So once we reach the practical session, most probably it will take another two weeks. Another one week to start a practical, but certain things you have to do in your own system, not required lab uh, remote access, right? Some through own system. Once we reach to the main part, main sense where you need the remote access, that type lab will, will be accessible, right? Understand? So we understand architecture, different component, how it works, and everything. Then we start practicals, practical, we continuously practical theory, practical theory, practical theory. I understand sometimes theory part is boring, but it is not, it should not be a boring for you because this very strong fundamental is very important. I'm telling you, many people work in the company, work in the industry, but their fundamental is not clear, they are not confident and they are not unable to grow. This create very strong fundamental to you. Okay. Now, any question? Sir, I have a question, sir. Ah, bolo. yes, tell me. Sir, uh, logs are basically stored in workstation or in servers. I will tell you. It's a part of our training. Sure. All, all digital devices, either workstation, server, all record the activities in the form of logs. Logs means nothing but the proof, hist history, what you have done. Also, please hear the definition of the speed training. That can I not, required, not required because this is something with parallel concept, right? Not yes. I just given an idea what is okay. happening, but not required. Okay, sir. No. Okay, thank you. Log or log? Log, L-O-G. Log, you call as event or log. Log means just what activity happened, it will record. It's a record kind of log. Log means you have, you go to the shop, right? Some Something you purchased, right? So your uh, uh, owner will record, okay, at what time, what date has been purchased, what product has been sold, what is the price, right? You record in the register, right? Log and at the time of audit or at the end of the day or one month, we'll check, okay, how many products have been sold, total how many sales happen. If you don't record it, you will not come to know. But yeah, something, you can see something missing. Some product has been sold, but calculation, I mean, uh, product has been sold, but uh, we got less money. Then you can audit and see the logs that you have recorded and how, what product has been sold. Maybe sometimes you have taken less money or something like that. If you have not recorded, you will not come to know. Similarly here, device will record. Sometimes you may have to go and check the logs. What happened? Activity happened because we cannot keep an eye on each and every activity. What is happening right now? But sometimes investigation perspective, we need those logs to check it out. What activity happened? Okay, we call a log, L-O-G. Um, another Hello. doubt. So, um, okay, I have a doubt. Uh, so initially, uh, during the beginning, uh, you mentioned that we will be able to export cookies to another device just in case if we have to retrieve our passwords or maybe if we Correct. forgot them. How do we how do we export those cookies? Like maybe the computer that I was using is back at home and I'm in a different location. So is there any way that I can export no, no, those? No, 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 no. I physically you can export it. Physically, no, no, no. I'm saying. If you, have, if you have access to the dead device, then only you can do that. Otherwise, you oh. cannot. Okay, okay. Attacker is connected, right? Attacker is, you right. have access to the website, attacker got the kind of control, then only it can steal the cookies. Oh, 
Okay, guys. So, I have a request, sir. Uh, Hello. Yes. Yes, yes. I have a request uh, with participants here. Like, uh, I, I, first of all, I'm not a promoter or something here. But, yeah, I see uh, many of us watch the videos on YouTube on your channel. But uh, they won't like it or comment it. Uh, I was I was showing this. I mean, I was introducing the cyber security concept to one of my cousin uh -huh. and showing your videos. So mm -hmm. I I mean he he was okay watching it, but he was just saying me a uh, there are many other YouTubers you can follow him or show him. I was just trying to convince him that he is a good explainer or something, mm -hmm. but uh, he was looking at views, likes, or comments. So uh -huh. seeing that I I. I I, I think like I, I was in a spot then. So I, I request the participants or whoever is watching the video, just uh, do a like and uh, subscribe it so that it can reach other people. Uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Rijar, for your comments. That is something I talk people right to comment because people are not, people do not know until as you like or comment, it will not reach out to other people. Yes, it, it, it will help you and it will help others also right. so that, you, that that's my request if you if you are good right if you are good in something until the people do not know they will not come to know right yes that is the reason mm -hmm. i ask you whenever you learn the video it's kind of support to us yes yes you can uh, at least like and you can comment some people are doing it few people are doing it <laughs> not everybody people are doing yeah. it i actually appreciate it uh that is yeah. how, how people mm -hmm. come to know right if I deliver the cool quality also, everything is good. But still, if people do not yeah. then they will not come. That is they will not come, yeah. If you like it, definitely if you can comment and like, that is always appreciated. Yes. But it's okay, sir. Your content is anyways talking and people are liking anyways. Uh, so, no offense, but I see that uh, because I've been watching you from 2020, I was in that background, but I had discontinued because of some emergencies. So from then I'm watching you. So your content is going and a lot of people know it. Right. See what happens is see like and comments means if YouTube has a kind of algorithm, if people like and comments, it will show to yeah. more people. That can algorithm. If people are watching but not commenting, means they are not liking. If they're not liking, not commenting, they are not interested. Then YouTube will stop showing to more and more people. That is kind of algorithm that YouTube used. Maybe somebody are not even getting those because maybe their uh, their content which they are trying to watch regularly is different. Right. Hey guys, thank you. So I believe that if you can follow comments, <clears throat> always appreciated. Okay. Thank you for yes, joining. Sir. See you tomorrow at the same time. Thank you. Oh, thank sir. you, sir. Thank, thank you, sir. 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 Thank you, sir